Third whistle. Gentlemen, you're both aware of the rules. Do you have any questions at this time? Listen to my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch guys now in the last round. Good luck to you. Well, look at the look of intensity on the face of Muhammad Ali. What a debut of fire for this man in kickboxing hammer. He's never had a kickboxing fight before in his life, and he's part of the K1 Oceania 2001. Well, certainly a baptism of fire for Muhammad. But uh, what's the betting that uh, Ronnie Sefo is going to go after his legs, Michael? What's the betting that Muhammad Ali is going to go after his head with those big good night Irene right hands of his? Yeah, I think that's the game plan for both fighters. We've figured it out, aren't we good? Fight. Here we go, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, the wild card. So much talk about him. Can he live up to expectation here in Centering? Ronnie Sifo, the rugged one from New Zealand. Very lacklustre performance last year, but Ray Sifo tells me his brother's spot on the money tonight. Well, Ronnie Sifo. Ali, early leg kicks hammer. Certainly uh, finding his feet, so to speak. Front kick there from Muhammad Ali. He's working well. Ali scoring with the leg kicks early on. Ronnie needs to get busy. He's just uh, one of these fighters that is really slow off the mark. And he's, uh, if he gets pegged early, it's not good for him. He wants to just keep uh, picking it up nice and quick. K1, three rounds. He can't afford to start slow. Ali, nice round kick to the ribs there. So far, so good from the wild card, Muhammad Ali. Oh, Muhammad has been prepared a treat by uh, Dave Hitchcock. I tell you what, he's been sparring Gurkhan, Ozkan, Steve Irvine, and a whole batch of other fighters down there at the Braveheart Gym in Oak Park. Rugged Ronnie Sifo, of course, sparring. Well, no better than big brother Ray Sifo. Oh, Ronnie! Uh, just a slip there just from Ronnie Sifu. Just a slip Sifu. in the blue corner. He threw the, the crowd big leg getting kick. very excited. He threw the big leg kick, uh, Ronnie Sifu, and uh, took a bit of a slip. But, uh, loaded up on it, that's for sure. Ali's movement, very good so far. Hammer his footwork. Well, he's very, very crisp movement. And uh, his hand skills are exceptional, Muhammad Ali. This is the man who two years ago knocked out the great Felix Savon in only one round in Cuba in an unsanctioned bout. And part of the Algerian boxing team at the Sydney 2000 Games. Rugged Ronnie Sifo, of course, a finalist, a runner-up to Andrew Peck in the K1 New Zealand 2000, also a former amateur champion. Well, Sifo with the black shorts with the right white trim, brother. Muhammad Ali with the shorts. Oh, Muhammad gets under the round kick very well, then goes downstairs with a leg kick of his own. Gotham City, Michael, what is that? I think he's borrowed those shorts off Gurkha and Oscar and Hamad. That's Batman's hideout, isn't it? Oh, certainly, <laughs> I think it's a different place. Oh, beautiful round kick from Muhammad Ali! My Muhammad Ali, the wild card, is really showing it up to Ronnie Sifo. Well, Ronnie Sifo really needs to get uh, Muhammad on the ropes. He's uh, got a lot of movement, and uh, Ronnie's backing himself onto the ropes when he, he should be uh, try, trying to uh, to nail uh, Muhammad on the ropes and then drop a, or roll a big leg kick on him. Muhammad's got the good night, Irene, right hand cocked and ready to go. Will Ronnie drop his guard and give Muhammad Ali an opening? Well, Muhammad's moving well. Oh, big, big leg kick there from Ronnie Sifo. Just what, a slip. Well, just a slip in the corner, nothing in it there. Same, those corners get a little bit slippery sometimes. A lot of water in that corner, same in the blue corner. Exactly. Muhammad Ali forced to cover up, Ronnie Sifo now starting to run. Oh, there's a... Oh, Muhammad walks into a round kick! 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 The Wildcats got a little heart, Muhammad Ali! I'll tell you what, that uh, switch up round kick from Ronnie Sifo nearly took Muhammad Ali's face right off there. Muhammad Ali walks smack bang into a shin! There's the end of the first round. Ronnie Sifo, what a timing. The ragged one, Ronnie Sifo, coming up. up with a big bomb hammer. Bang, I tell you what, he's done a, a check of his teeth with his shin bone. <laughs> I'll tell you what, before that, though, Muhammad Ali was well looking good. Well, he was okay, moving crisp. Athlete. Have a look at that. Right that good. caught him right okay, across the face. Good. Just like a baseball bat, right across long. your head, Michael. Muhammad, you tell you what. You're waiting too long. You've got to be Muhammad just Jump moving out, away. Ronnie wearing a round kick to the ribs. That was nice footwork there uh, okay, well, from Muhammad to let that uh, round kick go. And I tell you what, for someone having his kickboxing debut, impressive. Uh, very impressive, Muhammad. That's the only way to describe it. And a man with a big heart, he's given away a lot of weight. But uh, I tell you what, the weight has certainly hasn't come from his heart because he's got a huge heart. Yeah, no, not that one. Here, I've got it here. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Seconds down. Ready for round number two. We are ready to rock and roll the second round of action. Our second quarter final. One of these men will go on to face the Chief Peter Graham in the semis. Muhammad Ali out of the red corner. Ron Sifo of New Zealand out of the blue corner. The first round went to Sifo because he scored a knockdown. But before that, it was all Muhammad Ali. 
Ali just a little bit all over the place at the start of this second round. Don't well, forget, this Ali's, is Ali's kickboxing debut. He, is, he has been shell shocked by that shin kick across the face. And Julie So. But Ronnie Sifo's confidence is built now in the second round. Sifo trying to line up those leads to the bread basket. The ones we saw him work against Mark Hunt last year. Also working against Fadi Hadara to win his quarterfinal. 35 seconds down here in the second round. Almost the knee to the head. Well, there's, the knee. there's the knee there for Ronnie Sifo. And it's all over. Ronnie Sifo. Ronnie Sifo moves through. Ronnie Sifo to face Pedro the Chief Brown Hammer. It's a knockout. Ronnie Sipo! Well, yeah, yeah, no, no. Mohammed uh, just uh, saying he's okay to go on, but obviously the two knockdown rule it was knocked down twice by Sipo, and uh, you know, Ronnie was just getting stronger as that round progressed and started to get the knees working, and that was going to be danger time for Mohammed because obviously he may have uh, brushed up on the leg kicks, but once the knees come rocketing in, it's a totally different world. Actually, Hammer, were there two knockdowns in that second round? Or was one in the first and one, one in the one second? In the it has to be two knockdowns in one round. So a little bit of controversy there. We see the knockdown of Muhammad Ali following the knee. It does need to be two knockdowns in one round, though, Hammer. Well, Ladies certainly that was uh, our understanding. Of the rules. Here we go. It seems the fight will continue. Exactly, folks. Nothing unfair in this. This is K1 rules. There must be two knockdowns in one round, not two knockdowns over two rounds. Yes, I, I do believe that that is the ruling. Two. It is the K1 ruling. It wasn't getting up. He wasn't getting off the ground. Well, right, even Ken and I there arguing with he wasn't getting up. With Bryce Burt, we saw. I counted the five and he wasn't getting up. I called it off. We are going to continue. Right. Ken and I, the Look, he went down. He manager up, of the K1. I was counting. I got the five. I went, that's it. It's finished. All right? Simple as that. All right? Muhammad? Huh? I've got to look after the fight. I didn't think he was getting up. Oh, okay. Well, he's not hurt. Yeah, no, well, a turn of events. now. I got the five and I thought he wasn't getting up. There's no point counting any further. No, no, stay here. All right, no, he's gone. Okay. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, well, your winner and transferring Ron Sifu. Well, Bryce Bird was just uh, looking at the, uh, the well-being of the fighter. Mohammed uh, was uh, in a little bit of bother there, but um, Ronnie Sifu getting stronger. Let's go to Andy with Bryce now. Bryce Birdwhistle, a controversial ending. The way I understand the rules is two knockdowns in one round, the fight is over, but that's not why you stop the fight. Absolutely not. That is, that is a rule, two knockdown. Uh, unfortunately, our officials from Japan thought I stopped it on a two knockdown rule. The guy got knocked down, he got counted out to an eight count, he's got a cut under his eye. He got knocked down again, he was on his knees to the count of five, and he wasn't going to get up, and it was just saving the fight, and I thought that was enough of it. Thank you, Bryce.